What's up, G.I. Joe fans? Guys, in light of um, all of the positive um, feedback we received from our previous G.I. Joe video, um, the video where I did uh, my favorite carded G.I. Joe figures, I got a, a request from uh, one of our subscribers that wanted to know what were some of my favorite boxed G.I. Joe figures and if I could do a video on them uh, showcasing these guys and I said uh, yeah I can definitely do that and uh, guys li listen we love doing a request we have a lot of fun with it um, we're just uh, we're, we're pleased and excited that you guys are enjoying these videos and it makes me really think because this was a tough one it's always tough, guys, as a collector. You want to do, um, you know, the right thing as far as picking the, the, the G.I. Joes or the, the action figures, your favorite ones, and put it, uh, you know, putting it into a video. You want to make those right decisions and choices. It's really tough. It's really not a right choice or decision to make because I love all of them. But if I had to do a 10 part series, I won't, guys, unless you want me to. But if I had to do a 10 part series, uh, this would be the, the the first video, the first series, um, uh, showcasing some of my favorite box GI Joes. Um, these guys, uh, I, all, I have some, you know, really cool stories about all these guys. And uh, we're looking at my smoke jumper GI Joe figure here. Um, very difficult to obtain, very tough, hard to find. Uh, he's primarily because he's so low on under the radar. Um, I didn't even know about this guy being out at the time. It was like early 2002, maybe 2003, somewhere around there. I got him from a Super Kmart for $19.99. Real parachute, everything. Um, very hard to find now. Um, I saw him listed on eBay at about $190. Uh, and that was the starting bid. So I guess that makes him kind of expensive too. <laughs> now and up here is uh my um let me get the name for you the first marine division korea figure another one of my absolute favorites primarily because i chased this guy for like about this particular figure i chased for about maybe oh maybe five six seven years had him one time and i couldn't i couldn't get him because it was black friday and i was in a different state and the line was extremely too long. I didn't feel like waiting that long. Um, I would have been in there for another hour, but I had this in my hand and I had to leave them behind and I never leave a GI Joe behind. It was very frustrating. So I spent the next five, six, seven years looking for this guy. I finally found him and uh, cause he was my, one of my favorites. And then add on the fact that I could not f catch up and find this guy. Uh, this was a very difficult GI Joe to obtain. Still to this day, I, I, I rarely see him uh, on eBay. He's on there, but it's very difficult. But he's another one of my absolute favorites. Some things go without saying, but my G.I. Joe Normandy Pathfinder is one of my absolute um, most beautiful, my absolute most um, ex exquisite G.I. Joes. And I absolutely love this figure tons and tons of equipment um, beautiful in every sense of the word so hard to find now if you have this guy in your collection by all means enjoy the fact that you have him very difficult to obtain this guy and acquire him very expensive too beautiful my timeless collection, Skydive to Danger. Um, if I lo love a figure enough, I'll, I'll grab two of them. And I got two of these guys. I love the Adventure Team. Everything about the Adventure Team from the 1970s. And Hasbro came out with uh, a remake of this figure. And as you can see, he's loaded with equipment, accessories. Something about this outfit and something about the, the Adventure Team logo. That I just absolutely love. And he comes with a real working parachute. 
There's this pistol, the Kung Fu Grip Hands. Um, absolutely beautiful. One of my all-time favorites in my collection. My Black Spider Rendezvous figure. It's got the Turbo Copter here. Another classic, fantastic figure. Kung Fu Grip. Look what I paid for him, Target. Sixteen seventy eight. Can't get them for that now, but you still can find some of these figures. Most of these figures, but you're gonna pay a little bit more. Just beautiful. The simplicity simplicity of this figure was really was what I really love about him. Come with a ton of stuff, but that old style adventure team look always cool. My U.S. Coast Guard GI Joe. You can see the. 1964, 1999, 35 year anniversary figure here. Got the life vest there. Tons of weapons on this figure. This was just one of my favorite figures. It still is. There's this holster here. Ballistic glasses on there. Um, shades. Fantastic. Then we get into my Secret of the Mummies. Tomb Adventure Team G.I. Joe. Um, I'm a big fan of these uh, Indiana Jones type themes. And when you throw a G.I. Joe figure into it, that's icing, icing on the cake for me. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, beautiful in every way. One of my absolute favorites. Got this guy from Walmart back in 2001. Love the mummy. He rises from the, the tomb and reaches out and grabs you. Got that grabbing action there. Super fun. Um, just want to, just a super fun G.I. Joe figure. I love this figure. My G.I. Joe bomb disposal with real exploding bomb. Um, this G.I. Joe, super clean. Um, I love the outfit, the bomb disposal outfit. I did a lot of research on these guys. Very dangerous job. Very dangerous, very dangerous job. And I'm just happy that Hasbro made a G.I. Joe of this guy. There's his helmet up here. Just an absolute beautiful figure to have in my collection. Um, he's one of my absolute favorites. Um, there's no rhyme or reason why I love some of these figures a little bit more than others. Um, it's just what I, you know, the memories that are attached to these figures, you know, are priceless. My Normandy Ranger was a, a G.I. Joe Club exclusive. I'm going to try to take him out. Very difficult to get this guy. I found this guy years ago, but he came out in 1998. He's packed with just tons and tons of weapons and equipment and accessories. As you can see, he's cherry mint. He's so cherry mint that he's still sealed in his bag. The helmet and everything still has the paper wrapped around it. That's how Cherry Mint he is. But he's one of my favorite, absolute favorites. Guys, what are some of your favorites here on the stage right here? Let us know which ones you like. Let us know which ones that you have. Uh, we want to hear all of that, guys. Um, you've seen some of my favorite box G.I. Joes. Um... If you're liking a lot of these videos that we're doing, please, by all means, um, request more. We'll make more. We'll do more for you. Uh, just let us know in the comment section some of your favorites. If you want to see anything else, if we missed anything, you have any questions about these figures, uh, these beautiful G.I. Joe figures, uh, let us know, guys. We will be pleased to answer any questions. I try to answer all the comments, guys. I pride myself on that. You guys mean the world to me as my subscribers uh, to the museum. 
without you guys, we don't have a museum, you know. So it, it's it's only half full when I can't share um, these beautiful treasures and artifacts uh, with you guys. So by all means, uh, let us know what are some of your favorites. I know that the the the, um, the collectors love the the up close shots. So we try to get as many up close shots as we possibly can for you guys of these figures. Like I said, a lot of these guys, you can still find these beautiful GI Joe figures. Some are more uh, cost more than more than others. You know, we don't take anything out. We want to preserve the historical value of these figures the way they were intended to be seen the first time for the first time on toy store shelves. So, this is fun for me, um, hanging out in my museum and reminiscing and looking at some of my favorite G.I. Joes. So, we want to um, thank the subscribers for asking for this video. Try to get you more shots, close ups here. This is just one of my absolute all-time favorites. Look at everything. Everything's tied around the leg. Everything. The attention to detail to some of these figures are just fantastic. Head sculpt was perfect. You name it. This guy had it. Battery, it doesn't work anymore used to work got the knife tied to his leg here I don't like I said I don't look at it as far as a monetary value with these figures now um, I'm sure that they're, they're all extremely expensive now but it's, it's always been about the love of having these beautiful figures in my collection. Um, these are figures that I just couldn't part with under any circumstances. Whatsoever. Just couldn't part with these guys. Fantastic figures. Um, just my, some of my absolute favorites. Don't ask me to go from one to five or six guys. I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, that'd be too painful. Um, I couldn't put it. I couldn't rank them as a as people would say. Put them, you know, rank them from one to ten or something like that. Couldn't do it. I love this turbo copter. This is dog tag up there, venture team dog tag. And bring him bring him over a little bit so you can get a better shot of this guy. He's dusty. I'm glad I got some of these guys out. I need to dust them. And these are the figures that I, I I just simply will look at all the time when I'm here in the museum. This is why I don't get any work done in the museum. Dudley Moore said it best. Isn't fun the best thing to have? Never seen the movie Ar Arthur. Check out the movie Arthur. He makes a, a a great point. Isn't fun the best thing to have? And that's what I do when I come down here to my museum. I have a lot of fun. The sarcophagus is 
Egyptian sarcophagus is just awesome. Look at the mummy. Look at the details to the mummy. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the details to this bomb. You have to try to disarm it without it exploding. Hasbro thought of everything. Guys, thank you for hanging out with us today. You know the routine, guys. God bless. and keep collecting.